I should say that I don't regard the existence of life elsewhere uh, as a speculation. One thing I tell my students in class is that the sky teaches us modesty. First, because the universe is huge and there are so many stars, there are more habitable planets, planets just like the Earth, in the observable volume mm -hmm. of the universe than there are grains of sand on all beaches on Earth. And when you think about emperors or kings that uh, conquered a piece of land on Earth and boasted about it, uh, it's just like an ant that hugs a single grain of sand on the landscape of a huge beach. It's not very impressive. I mean, so we should be modest. Now, a quarter of all the stars in the Milky Way galaxy, we now know, have a planet with surface conditions similar to the Earth. And all I'm saying is, if the conditions are similar on other planets, then the outcome might be similar, whereby you will develop, this planet would develop a technological civilization. Why would we think that we are alone? That must be arrogant on our behalf. The, for me, the question has always been, given all of those planets, not what the likelihood of life is, which seems to be almost certain, but what the likelihood of life at any given point in time is. That's right. And in, in, indeed, the, the way we behave uh, indicates that the lifetime of our civilization may be rather short because technology evolves nowadays on a time scale of a few years, and it evolves exponentially. And you can imagine that within centuries from now, we will develop the means for our own destruction very quickly, and we will not survive more than a thousand years. Uh, and, and we've only been asking these questions for recently. a few thousand years, so it's yeah. a tiny, it's tiny, a tiny blip. Exactly, and so that may explain why we are not seeing contact from other civilizations because they are short-lived. But that doesn't mean that we will not find evidence for them. Debris. Uh, we might find uh, debris from dead civilizations. We might find burnt up uh, surfaces of planets, uh, civilizations that went through a nuclear war and destroyed themselves or um, did not preserve the climate on their, on their planet or left some uh, megastructures uh, or artifacts that we could find. I call that space archaeology. Mm -hmm. And the importance of doing that is that we might learn a lesson to get our act together and not to share the same fate as those civilizations. So, in fact, astronomy can teach us not only modesty, but also a sense of urgency in terms of dealing with our planets and our future. Currently, all our eggs are in one basket, the Earth. And I think it's inevitable for us to think about going to space in order to preserve the things that we care about.